Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. to leave with that championship belt. Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. Been there, you've done that. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight world. Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd. And a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. And he caught the kicks. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh, got the kick to the head home there. And he counters with a left hand. Straight there by Lee. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the guard. Counters with that inside leg kick. Gets to the single collar tie. strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Circling away towards the left now. Rips the body there. Eats a jab there. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Good counter right.
I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Two minutes to go in round one. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. Defensive. He's taking too many of these shots on top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. So again, trying to bait his opponent in here, looking to set up yet another counter. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He wants and needs his opponent to strike first. Not always easy being a counter striker. The crowd can get on you a little bit, but he has not deviated from the game plan here tonight. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. In the clinch. Missed on the right hand. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round, too, which could have an impact on the judge's potential. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judge's mind. And you walk back to your corner. When you get up from a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it done. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played out. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-two. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, hands up, hands up. Looking to set up that other yeah. Nice straight right hand. <laughs> wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. Lead kick is true there by Lee. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Under three minutes to go in round two. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. There's the kick, it's blocked. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Under two minutes to go. Nice block. That was the kid. Nice strike. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Good work, guys. Back kick there. Right counter. Ooh, oh. head kick land. He's hurt. Yeah. Watch knees to the body. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even in the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something there. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Under 20 seconds now to go. Separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, as he opened up now, nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Good run. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Check that last one. Nice straight there by Lee. Real nice body kick there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 
Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. <laughs> Big right hook there by the champ. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Just out of range with that left hook. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, flying knee to the head. They're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Unable to connect him. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Short time now in the round. And that's been a kick out. It's home up top. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. No, 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 no. Throws the teeth now in advance. Just missed with the leg kick. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. So as good a round as you can draw up. He had the knockdown early. Great round there from Lee. It's extremely effective. Change your combinations. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, tick and go. You tell yourself anything is hit me. Nice technique on the sidekick. 
Ooh, gonna get up with that. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. Lands the inside leg kick there. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, at this point, he is black and blue all over. High-level damage, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Even though it's body damage, this is the red color. It's almost over. John, this fight's almost over. At any point now, they can stop. The doctor steps into the octagon. I believe this fight's going to be called up. Just over three minutes to go. Leg kick now. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into his mouth. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, massive knee to the body, that can't feel good. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Look at the control of the posture as they land that deep. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Less than two minutes now to go. That's a big strike right there. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Could be the beginning of the end here. Out of range with that kick attempt. Less than a minute to go in the round. Nice punch by Lee. It's okay, keep going. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Straight right hand now, just misses. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, great block there. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Ten seconds to go in round four. Guess the single collar tie now. He does a great job getting out of that clutch stop, stop, stop. position. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the horn. It's amazing to think we got here, given how many times he rocked his opponent there in the previous round. Almost looked like a glorified sparring session, given how dominant he was. Yeah, it just looked like one guy that was much better than the other guy. He was hurting him every time he landed, and it's a testament to his ability and his accuracy in the stand-up.
All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did Ray the Bart. damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened Good. up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What do you think? Just misses with the jab there. Great commitment to the kicking game. Oh, just missed on the overhand right. Huge That might do it! And back to his feet. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Now we're going. Massive left hand. It got checked. Nice punch to the head. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. That's a pretty good jab. Nice leg kick. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. Well, that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Back to his feet. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, he's trying to stay active here in the clinch, and that'll work. Lands a nice punch there. Opponent's trying to rest. He's trying to fight. is how you leave the judges out of it.